So at approximately 528 this evening, we received a radio alert that one of our own was injured. Our firefighter was in, this, in the process of responding to a scene and in a vehicle and was injured, uh, apparently suffered trauma type injuries. Uh, the injuries he received uh, were such that uh, we decided to airlift him to a hospital where he's receiving treatment. Um, he's stabilized and being evaluated at this time. And the exact cause is under investigation. We're not releasing exactly uh, what his injuries were due to the fact that we are a medical provider and therefore covered under the HIPAA rules. But uh, that's pretty much what we can tell you. Feel free to ask any questions, but I probably will not be able to give you specific answers about the person, themselves, their injuries, and exactly how it occurred. Can you say if he fell off the truck? Let's see. Um, the best way I can phrase it is that our firefighter was responding to a scene, was leaving the fire station in a vehicle when he received these injuries, which were tra traumatic type injuries. Did you confirm that was a fire? Yes. Engine that I don't know. Okay. Yes. I don't have information about that. I apologize. Where I can find out. He's critically injured? We were concerned, definitely. Um, it was a trauma alert, so that's hence the airlift. But he is receiving treatment and evaluation now, and uh, he does not appear to be, um, he's certainly, certainly alive right now. He was leaving the station, which is just about less than a block over there, and coming this way. At this point, I don't know what exact maneuver the engine was making. Was he inside the vehicle? That I don't know. But I will find out. Is it standard procedure for firefighters to be inside the cab of their vehicles when the, the vehicle's in motion? Yes. Okay. Yes. And with seatbelts on, even in the engine? We're assuming all protocol was followed. We believe so. So it's not standard for them to stand and hold on to like a railing outside the fire truck, you know how like back in the old days they would do sure. that? Sure. Um, unfortunately, we can't discuss exactly the type of vehicle it was, so I'm not exactly sure what position they were in. Was he by chance hit by a car after he fell off the fire truck? No, we don't have any information that he was hit by a car. Can you talk about just how scary this is? Sure. Absolutely. You know, one of your guys. Sure. When we get the call hearing that a firefighter is down, Every firefighter, every Hillsborough Fire Rescue member certainly is concerned that one of their family is seriously injured. Um, we're used to going out and saving lives, and these folks put themselves in such serious potential injury situations that when we hear anything about a firefighter being injured, you can bet that everybody is responding from the fire chief on down to the dispatchers themselves. So everybody is really concerned, but uh, at this point, he is receiving the best care and is being evaluated. Is he a TGA? We can't say. What's the firefighter's name? We can't release any personal information. And you can't say how long he's been with the department? No. no I'm sorry. You may not be able to speak to this, but do you know what kind of investigation the sheriff's office is doing? Is it criminal? Is it just a crash report? Do you know what they're doing? As far as we know, there was no criminal activity involved in this. This was strictly an accident. Absolutely. Any more insight? How was a firefighter injured inside of the fire truck? Absolutely. Well, apparently the uh, the injuries were trauma type injuries, but we, we can't say exactly how they were received. But uh, hopefully we will be able to release more as uh, as situations become clear, and certainly an investigation into what caused the the accident will be underway. So you'll have a parallel investigation in Hillsborough. We'll have an investigation in the sheriff's office. Be too. I know we will. I'm sure the the sheriff's office will as well. Is that engine going to be taken out of service for the power handle? I don't know that there was any damage to the vehicle itself. If there was vehicle of damage, then yes, absolutely, it's, it would be serviced before it goes back out. Have you heard from the state Yes. Have you Not to my knowledge. Can't speak of that. That yeah, right, exactly. Um, all of his. Uh, his firefighter family, I know, is praying for him, and many are actually uh, with him at this time, just to make sure that uh, that everyone is all right. Do you know where inside the fire vehicle the person was seated? 
no, do not. Yeah, sorry. Wish wish we had more, more that I could give you and more that we could say. But unfortunately, like I said, we're limited by two factors. But um, anything more that we have, we'll definitely release. Yeah, thanks, guys. Thank